beautiful souls. Um, this is Jennifer Felix. I'm doing a video on the Malaysian Flight 370. Um, now, there's so many theories out, out there. I did a video yesterday. Um, I had to take the video down. Okay, I wanted to restart the video. I listened to it. And I'm like, nah, let me restart this video, okay? You guys, I don't edit. I'm just raw and I just talk, okay? Um, now, they're saying that there's a shocking discovery of the Malaysian Flight 370. The proof is out in the Bermuda Triangle and beyond. You guys, that's not true, okay? Um, this video that I'm about to do on the mystery aircraft of the Malaysian Airlines um, MH370 went missing. Um, I'm going to do a channel read on this. Um, I did do one yesterday um, and I didn't edit it and I just watched it and I was like, I'm deleting it. Okay. Um, and starting it all over. This video is for entertainment purposes, but use true discernment out here. Okay. Now, what was interesting was I was writing stuff down. I'm not going to go in there and get it because I already know what I'm going to say. Okay. Now, this flight left Malaysia. Okay. Um, there was so many theories out there going around that it had to do with the pilot. Okay. The pilot, um, the pilot of this airplane was suicidal. Okay. There's, there's actually three theories out here. One, the pilot was suicidal, the uh, veteran pilot Two, um, the Russians hijacked the airplane. Three, um, what was the third one? That it went, that it went, that they felt parts of the plane in Madagascar. You guys, no. Those parts were placed there, okay? In Malawi and Madagascar. Those parts from that plane were placed there, okay? I'm going to tell you what really happened to the flight. Um, Malaysia Airline MH370. What really happened to them? Okay. Um, I have my shelf here. Um, now I now I kept seeing Paul. Hi Kay. How are you doing? I did a video on this yesterday and I don't edit my videos. I just speak and it comes out. Okay. But that video, I had to go back and I listened to it and I'm like, nah, I got to redo this video, okay? Um, so I was picking up, um, I watched the whole thing. And yesterday, last night, I had to rewatch the last episode. And there's a reason why. Um, there's a lady that wrote a book, okay? Now, when I seen Paul's name, it was like, um, I kept seeing the red flashes, right? Now, Paul, I don't think uh, Paul was American. Um, I have not seen the flight list of who was actually on this flight. Um, but I'm going to tell you what happened, okay? What I believe happened, okay? Um, in the metaphysical world, what I am being told what happened to these people, okay? Um, now, remember when I said, um, well, I deleted the video, okay? There was somebody on that flight, okay? Now, the system was jammed, okay? The system was jammed. There was somebody on that that flight um, that was not who they, okay, whatever their name was that they were, their name was that was on that flight, that, that was not their name, okay? <laughs> this person was I'm here in government, okay? Um this is a government cover up, okay? Um for entertainment purposes, this is a big government cover up, cover up and this is not just Malaysian government cover up, this is multiple government cover ups, okay? Now, um there was somebody on that flight, okay? Now, first I was picking up a male energy, okay? A male energy um that was a government official, K. 
okay? Now, I don't know who was on that flight, okay? I know there was Malaysian people on that flight. There was supposedly Russian people on that flight. We haven't, I, I haven't seen the flight list, okay? I'm not going to read the whole flight list, okay? Um, now, there was 227 passengers and was it 27 crew members? Um, I have it written down, okay? Uh, 37 crew members, okay? Now, I listened to everybody speak. Now, there was a French man, um, his wife and his two children, okay? There was somebody on this plane that is, that was living a double life. I'm hearing like a spy, okay? A spy, all right? Now, and cargo. There was cargo and a spy. Okay. Now, if this plane would have landed in China, okay, this plane would have landed in China. This plane could not have landed in China. Okay. The plane had to go down. Okay. Before it landed in China. Okay. Somebody was holding vital information. Vital. Okay. Um, that left Malaysia. To, they were going to Beijing, China, um, and somebody was tipped off or found out who this person really was. Um, now, I feel like this person was like, um, like, you know how you see like a special agent, okay, where they falsify their names, like we'll have Agent X, Agent Z, Agent M. Asian H. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. Um, I feel like whoever this person was, was like, I'm feeling like agent, um, doing like government stuff, um, that nobody was supposed to know about. Okay. Um, now when I'm channeling the energy, um, I was trying to channel to see if these these people were still alive because when I was first on the read, I didn't feel like anybody crossed over. But the 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 plane, this is gonna sound crazy. Um the plane went north, it turned back. Okay, it went back to its original destination where it was supposed to actually leave. But it didn't go back to that destination. It went back to a military base. Okay. Yes, a military base that was close by. Okay. Um now wow. Cause I was getting two different things. I was getting like the plane was shot down by mistake because people I, I don't know, because of this person, okay. The, to risk all these people's life for one person, one person, you guys. Okay, this person must have knew some shit. Okay, um, and they had to go. Okay, now I need to know because I need to know if this energy is masculine or feminine. Was this a female or was this a male on the plane that had this important information? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Give me true discernment at this time. True discernment. Nothing but true discernment. I need to know if this was a female or a male. Show me if it was a female. Show me if it was a male. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, are the people still alive that were on this flight?
I don't even know if I want to say it, you guys. This is freaking crazy, okay? Okay. Now, I got that female and male energy, okay? So... I don't know if they, it was a male or female because I got yes for male and female. So I don't know if a male found out about this female or a female found out about this male. Okay. Now I asked if they're still alive. Okay. Um, where are the rest of these people, um, passengers? Did they off them? For one person, you guys, I did this three times, three times, going through the sermon. Okay, you guys, um, all I'm going to say is whoever was on that flight, I'm not even going to say if these people are alive or if they're, if they're deceased because there's family members out here. They want closure and they want to know the truth. Okay. Um, what I am picking up is the reason why this flight was targeted is because of the individual that was on this flight. Okay. Now it could have been a female, um, and it could have been a male or it could have been a female on this flight and they found out her true identification, her true um, her true identity of who she really was, or it could have been a masculine and they found out their true identity of who they were. But this person was, I feel like, spy. Um, like you see in the spy movies. Um, even their name, when they got on this flight, their name was changed, okay? So what I feel like is when they got on this flight, I don't know how the hell they knew this per who this person was because this person hid their identity for a very long time. They try to put the blame on the damn pilot, you guys, the pilot. I, they, I feel like they asked the pilot to um, land. Um, this pilot that they... Um, said that he had depression issues, Yam Yamir, Yuri, whatever. Um, they asked him to land. He had no control of the plane. Somebody took control of the plane, okay? The the data that they're showing, um, they erased the data. Um that's why nobody really knows if it went um south. And the reason why, oh my gosh, okay, it went south and north. Well, actually. They said that somebody flew the plane into the, the 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 gas ran out. I mean, there's all these kind of theories out here. All I know is somebody that was on this plane, um, their identity um, was found out. There was cargo on this plane. Well, they were they were the cargo. They, it was them. That's the hidden information. It was them. I'm not pulling those shells. It was them. Now, the masculine found out it was a female that who she really was or um, roles can be reversed here, okay? Um, now, the French guy that um, his, two, his two kids and his um, wife, um, he actually brought it to the United States government and other governments in Malaysia. Um, he tried to file um, an act of treason. That is true. He tried to file an act of treason, you guys. Now, there's a pilot um, that her husband was a co-pilot. I said this in a video um, yesterday. I feel like she knows more. She even said that somebody placed it there. She was right. They did place that that wing. Um, this is not funny because there's, there's lives. Okay. Um, they did, that was placed there. Now the guy that was finding all the debris, I don't know who this man is. 
Now, what's interesting, did he work for the government? He said he just wanted to help these families. That's bullshit. Okay. That is straight bullshit. Okay. Um, he's lying. Okay. He's freaking lying. He wanted, because I feel like he wanted, I don't even want to do the shells. I feel like he wanted publicity. Okay. Um, I feel like he wanted publicity. And I want to know, do you work for any kind of government? Okay. They said he was a Russian spy. This guy, they said, was a Russian spy, you guys. Um, did he work with Russia? Um, yes. He has property. That was true. He did also work with Russians in some kind of way. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I'm just a reader. Okay, that's all I am. All right. Um will there be closure? Will there be closure? Will we know the real truth? I feel like I said this yesterday. Um the truth People know the truth out there. They really know the truth. Like they know what happened to, it didn't go in the Bermuda Triangle. It didn't go in the damn Indian Ocean. It didn't go south. Okay. It went north. Okay. And it went from the place it left, but it went to some kind of military place. Okay. I'm seeing a military place. Okay. I don't know the name of it, um, but that's where I see it going. Okay. Um, there, it was important cargo. The important, important cargo was the actual person that was on the damn plane, okay? They try to make it seem like, because um, I asked them, did the pilot have anything to do with this? No, he did not, okay? Did he try to commit suicide? No, he did not. Um, did the Russians take over this plane? No, they did not, okay? Um, I even asked, was the plane accidentally shot down, okay? Yeah actually they shot down by mistake okay um because of this important individual okay um i actually see the plane landed somewhere okay um you guys to be honest with you i asked the shells i you know um, if these people are still alive, because uh, what I'm getting is they haven't crossed, but that's the weird thing. So where are these people at? If they didn't cross. Okay. Where are they at? What Island are they on? Um, now if they're, I mean, where are they at? Okay. Where are these people at? Okay. Um, Will this ever come out? Will this ever come out? No. This will never come out. Okay? We will never find out the truth. Okay? Well, we will let somebody... Um, unless somebody leaks the information. Then we'll find out the truth. Okay. Now, I asked if they're still alive. I asked that like four times already. Okay. You know, we always in life have to have hope um, that the truth will always be prevailed to us. Okay. Um, because in life, Sometimes, you know, and now what's happened energetically, um, energetically, there's a shift here. So things are going to be prevailed to a lot of people. Um, if this ever comes out, um, whoever is hiding what really happened, they are going to hide it forever. Okay. Um, because this would not be good if it came out. Okay. Um, 
The reason why I believe they put the Netflix series, and I think that woman wrote a book about this, is because um, they want to see if anybody comes forward, the family, for closure for the family. Um, so there's going to be a lot of psychics, a lot of mediums doing reads on um, this flight. Um, but this is what I was channeling. Um, I want to say this, you guys, always have hope always have hope for people that are missing. They did not just vanish, van vanage, like vanage in thin air. They did not go through no portal. I don't see no portal here. Okay. There's no portal showing up here. Okay. Um the Bermuda Triangle is a portal itself. Okay. There's portals everywhere. I don't see them going through a portal and coming back out ten years later. Like um that show manifests uh with a plane it went missing. Okay. The, the writer of that plane wrote that movie, um, using this flight that went missing as, um, reference. Okay. Reference, um, to what happened to these individuals. Okay. Um, and then they, the plane and manifest the movie manifest the plane goes to a portal and comes back, comes back out like years later. And these people's minds, they have superpowers and all this blase blase. But um, we always have to have hope for the missing. Okay, always. Uh, we don't ever give up hope because that's one thing that we have to hold on to is hope. Okay. Um, this was my read on the flights. MH37, um, the mystery of the passengers, of the crew members. Um, I pray one day, um, there's people that have information out there, um, that one day that we will know the truth. Um, actually, with this Netflix series that, that just came out, it's going to peak entrance back into this case. Okay. Um, the debris that was found on Madagascar, and I knew it was Madagascar before they even said Madagascar. I knew they were going to say Madagascar, and they said Madagascar. You guys, I can't make this up, okay? Um, in Malawi, um, somebody planted that there, okay? Um, I don't feel like that came from the actual plane. Um, the plane that is missing, okay, um, the MH370, those parts do not come from that plane, okay? Um, so we need to have hope for the families. And if they are watching my video, um, please keep the hope for your family members and these crew members' families um, alive, okay? Um now there was two flight, two planes. Um, this is interesting. There's two planes that went down from Malaysia. Okay, so um, I don't even trust what I was hearing. Um, the Malaysian people don't even trust their own government. Okay, um, there's a lot of corruption. There's corruption in every government. Okay, um, you got good and good and evil in everything. Okay. Um, but we always got to keep the hope alive. Okay. And I think this will re-spark people's entrance, entrance, entrance in this case. Um, I don't see the, the flight, the, the plane going south. It never went south. Okay. It's not in the Indian Ocean. Okay. It went north. Okay. That is what I, when I first channeled was went north. Okay. Um, so let's just keep these families, um, names out there. Um, keep hope that, you know, maybe one day they will show up and the story will be told, but there's people out there that have information on exactly, uh, what happened to these passengers, um, on this flight. Okay. And the crew members, cause you remember there was crew, crew members on this flight and it's crazy because they were trying to pin this on the veteran pilot, and he had no control over this plane, okay? So just imagine he got, his family got 
hate for this, death threats for this, okay? And this wasn't a suicide. He didn't try to just go and off himself, okay? But his family got death threats. This is how you can be accused of shit in this life, okay? And be freaking innocent, okay? This is why I say a lot of things out here we see is a delusion and illusion. They they needed somebody to put the blame on, and they were going to blame this man. This man was a loving man, okay? Um, he did YouTube videos because he wanted to do them, you know? Um, just like I wanted to do YouTube videos. He would never commit suicide, okay? Um, the reason why um, he did, like, um, a flight, um, um, he was a pilot, okay? He was just interested in if he went south. And I believe he looked at every direction. And I believe that there was evidence that was planted in his home. Planted in his home. Thank you, ancestors. Planted in his home, okay? This is why everybody out here is innocent and to proven guilty, okay? A lot of things out here is a delusion and illusion. And just imagine, this could have been you or anybody else's family, okay? It's easy to plant evidence, okay? All you have to do is take your hair, your blood, okay? When you get your blood drawing, your hair, the sample of your hair, I mean, and plant the shit anywhere, okay? Just FYI, all right? Um, and his family was getting death threats, okay? And he's innocent, okay? He's innocent, all right? The ancestors are saying he's innocent, okay? His family is to this day, we're getting death threats. And the dude was innocent, okay? Whoever was on this flight was, um, their identity was not their true identity, okay? They were, they, they were like a spy, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Now I asked them if it was female or male. It could be it could have been female and it could have been male. Okay. I don't know, right? Um, but they pissed some people off. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. That they pissed some people off, a lot of people off, and they pissed the wrong people off, okay? So they had to go. Okay. All right, you guys, this is Jennifer Felix. This is my read on the flight. Um MH370 and um, keep the hope alive for the passengers and the crew members of this flight. Okay, you guys? All right. Love and light. Love and light, my beautiful souls.